What's up, everybody? Garden State Aviation here, back with the second video of 221. And yes, the second video of 221 is going to be yet another uh, release video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys NG models as January 2021 releases. Um, so basically, I apologize that this is quite late at this point. Basically, it's. At this point, I'm filming this on Jan Thursday, January 14th. You guys should be seeing this uh, that same day, which is January 14th. I'm really sorry that this is um, uh, uh, a week late. Um, it's just the fact that I had basically to study for I had to study for an exam, uh, and I didn't have the time to film uh, the Gemini Jets and NG Models video. So the Gemini Jets video you guys saw uh, on Saturday night, I believe, which is January either 9th or 10th. Uh, and then this video you guys should be seeing January 14th. Uh, so yeah, uh, bearing that in mind, I apologize that I'm really late on the release game as a release game of in the, the, the supposed uh, the release, whatever you call it. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm late on the releases, but uh, yeah. That being said, without further ado, let's get started. Starting off with the top of the list for NG's January 22 releases, we have this Mexicana 757-200. Looks really, really nice. Um, this... I feel like this is a either older Mexicana livery or a special livery, uh, as uh, I did have a Mexicana A319. I had it for like six months before I traded it into um, uh, Jetway models to get uh, NG uh, United 738s. Basically, um, basically this is um, this doesn't appear to be a normal Mexicana livery, as I know that Mexicana's later liveries um, before they went bankrupt. What well, um was had they had a black tail so this is sort of I feel like either an older livery or a special livery but that's what it looks like it's a Mexicana 757 200 without winglets registration is N November 758 Mike X or N 758 MX it is scale 1 to 400 MSRP is 4559 and of course unlike Gemini Jets uh, NG do not scam you <laughs> um uh, but anywho moving on down the line. We have this Raya Airways 757-200 without winglets. Um, so, so far we have two 757-200s. The other one was a Mexicana. This one's a Raya Airways. Uh, I don't know much about Raya Airways. Um, from what it looks like uh, in the clip out of the aircraft, they do appear to be some sort of um, cargo airline of sorts. But I really have no clue uh, what their route network or anything like that is. But, um... Can I zoom in? No, I can't. Uh, that is a Malaysian flag down here. So, this obviously is a Malaysian registered aircraft, so it's probably a Malaysian airline. But that was the Raya Airways 757-200 PCF, uh, without winglets, of course. Registration is 9 Mike Romeo Yankee Alpha, or 9 MRYA. Scale 1 to 400, MSRP is 4559. Moving on down the line, we have the final, I believe... Yeah, it's the final 757-200 of this release. This is the um, Pacific Air Express 757-200 uh, PCF. Um, like I said, it's without, it's without winglets. It looks pretty, looks nice. Um, this is most likely going to be popular with those of you who, you know, who are um, collectors, Australian collectors, most likely, because they're, um, it is an Australian registered aircraft. Um, you have the Australian flag, and it's Victor Hotel Papa Quebec Alpha. Uh, the registration is Victor Hotel Papa Quebec Alpha, or VHPQA, so obviously this is, I believe, it's an Australian airline. For what it seems, um, I think they fly around the Pacific, but I'm not, I don't really know about these smaller airlines. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's the Pacific Air Express 757-200. Um, registration, like I said, is Victor Hotel, Papa Quebec Alpha, VHPQA. Scale 1 to 400, MSRP is 45.59. Moving on down the line, and you guys should pre-order it while you can, because I know the fact this is going to sell pretty fast. This is the British Airways 77-9. Okay, um, that's very, very weird. This is actually a typo. Um, this is actually a typo, and I but it's either seven eight seven ten or seven eight seven nine. I think it's a seven eight seven ten from the clip art. Um, but basically, it's a seven eight seven dash ten Dreamliner. So this is actually a typo on NG's part. British seven eight seven dash ten Dreamliner. It's in the normal livery. This is going to sell out very fast as British fly to many international destinations with the seven eight seven ten. I uh, know they fly to New York, JFK, Washington, Dulles, uh, Chicago, O'Hare. Um, 
um, uh, Dubai, so they do fly to a lot of places using this aircraft. So I know this one's gonna sell out pretty fast. Um, but this is the British Airways 787-10 Dreamliner. That's what it looks like. It's in the normal British Airways livery. The registration is Golf Zulu Bravo Lima Bravo or GZBLB. And it is one to 400 scale and it is $57. We're going down the line. We have the last 787 out of this release. This one I actually might get. This is the Ethiopian 787-9 Dreamliner. Um, this is actually one that I might get because Ethiopian do fly to Newark. They fly to uh, Addis Ababa via Lome. Uh, as you guys could, you guys could uh, tell that in my old update, uh, my December 2020 airport update uh, for EWR, you guys saw it was a 767, former Ethiopian 767 that was flying that route. Uh, but Ethiopian in real life, they do fly a 778 uh, on this route, but I can't really find them as those are really rare nowadays. And I'll probably have to go with this as they sometimes do schedule a 787 night on this route. So not only would it be a nice addition to the collection, but it would, in some ways, uh, it would be accurate. Yeah, but that was the aircraft, and the registration is Echo Tango Alpha Uniform Oscar ETAUO, scale one to four hundred, and uh, uh, MSRP. MSRP is fifty five dollars, uh, and of course it's named Beijing. You know, Beijing, Beijing. Moving on online, we actually have three Bamboo Airways aircraft. Starting off with the first one at the top of the list, this is the Bamboo Airways 8021-200. Um, looks to be in a normal livery. It looks really nice. Um, I don't know, there's just something about Bamboo Airways' livery. The combination of colors uh, really, you know, makes it pop out. Uh, but this is the Bamboo Airways uh, 8021-200. Looks pretty nice. You got the green door. To be honest, if I had a little bit of money, I honestly will get this just for the green door. But uh, I know that's me that was the bamboo is 8021 200 uh registration is victor november uh, victor november alpha 585 or vna 585 with a scale 1 to 400 and it is 4559 we've gone down the list we have two 8021 neos the only difference between this bamboo 8021 neo and this one is this one is in the first 8020 neo sticker it looks like this okay this one looks like this so you guys can see it um Looks pretty nice. It's basically just a normal bamboo area aircraft. It's the first AT20 Neo slack smacked onto it. Uh, with the first AT20 Neo sticker smacked onto it, this is what it looks like. Um, the registration is Vikram November Alpha 588 or VNA 588. It's 1 to 400, and uh, all of these are 4559, by the way, and they're all 1 to 400 scale. But uh, moving on down the line, this is just uh, another quick picture of the Bamboo Airways AT21 Neo for you guys. This is just without um, the decal, uh, without the first AT21 Neo sticker. This is what it looks like. And of course, like I said, Okay, and of course, like I said, that one was uh, 4559, and the registration on this one is Victor November Alpha 589 or VNA 589. Moving on down the line, we have a Garuda Indonesia A330 300. Uh, I know uh, uh, Gemini just did release this aircraft, except they released it in the um, Ayo Pakai livery, which is basically Garuda Indonesia's now without my mask livery. Um, basically, and this is a normal Gruda Indonesia A330 uh, 300 is what it looks like. This is going to be very popular. I know this is going to be really popular with those of you who are uh, Indian collectors. Gruda Indonesia do have a massive root network inside Indonesia. So, um, considering the fact that um, this is a uh, Asian model, it's probably going to sell out pretty fast. Um, this is the Gruda Indonesia A330 300. Registration is Papa Kilo Golf Hotel Alpha PKGHA at a scale one to four hundred, and the MSRP is fifty five dollars. Moving on down the line, we have two Dragon Air A330 300s. The first one is in the tenth anniversary livery. It's normal Dragon Air aircraft, except with this tiny um, tenth anniversary sticker on it. This is what it looks like. It's an A330 300. The registration is Bravo. Hotel Whiskey Kilo B H W K, and of course it's fifty five dollars as well. Is another aircraft that's fifty five dollars. The same Dragonair one is also fifty five dollars. It's another one of their A330 300s. Uh, only difference between the last one and this one is there's no tenth anniversary sticker, and the engine's like a cyan blue. It's like a night. Uh, I'm really bad with my colors. It's like a um, baby blue sort of. But yeah, that was the Dragonair A330 300. Uh, registration on this one is Bravo Hotel Lima Juliet, BHLJ. 
It's scale 1 to 400, and it is $55. Okay, moving on to the last three wide bodies of this release. We have this Philippine Airlines A350-900. Uh, it's in a normal livery. It just has the this love bus sticker on it from what it looks like. Um, that's what it looks like. And um, I know this is going to be nice and popular. Because <laughs> um, Philippine Airlines, from what I've seen on Flight 24, they do fly to JFK, San Francisco, LAX, Honolulu, Tokyo, uh, Seoul, Beijing, uh, Hong Kong. They do fly to a lot of destinations using their AT50s, so this is gonna sell pretty fast for those of you who are Filipino collectors or those of you who do airports like JFK, which Philippines do fly to. But that is the Philippine Airlines A350-900. Registration is Romeo Papa Charlie 3508 or RPC 3508. Scale 1 to 400 and it costs $57. Moving on down the line, we have Duke Qatar Airways aircraft, and yes, it's actually pronounced it's not pronounced Qatar. The anglicized version of it, the Americanized version, the brick, br the basically the anglicized version for us anglophones, we say Qatar. But you know how you're supposed to say it like that? You're supposed to say Qatar. So I'm just going to be saying Qatar instead of Qatar. But yeah, this is the Qatar Airways A350 900. It's no, it's um, it's a uh, normal Qatar Airways aircraft. Um, now I didn't spot this one at Washington Dulles. It was a different registration. Um, but I did spot a, I did spot a guitar at the 50 at Dulles last August. You can see this. I believe it's the first or second video on my channel. Um, re sorry for the bad quality in that video, but uh, anywho, I did spot a guitar at 50, but it wasn't this one. This is just a normal guitar at 50. Um, registration is Alpha 7 Alpha Lima Juliet A7 ALJ. It is uh, scale 1 to 400 and costs $57. And moving on down the line, we have a Qatar Airways One World Air, um, One World Qatar Airways A350-900. This is what it looks like. It's basically, just a um, one. It basically just has a big, big, big One World logo, member of One World, and then just the rest of the livery is the same, except a few slashes painted in white. Is the Qatar Airways uh, One World A350-900. Registration is Alpha 7 Alpha Lima Zulu A7 ALZ. It's scale one to four hundred and it's fifty-seven dollars. And the final aircraft for this release is an OTT Airlines uh, Comac ARJ21-700. This is, I don't know if this, this probably is going to be one of those, um, um, this is probably going to be one of those aircraft that's not really going to sell out fast. This, I, I'd say this is probably, this aircraft's probably going to sell out, um, maybe in four or five months as, you know, OTT Airlines, most of us, from what I've talked to, most people uh, who have talked to on Instagram or in real life, they, they haven't heard of OTT Airlines, uh, so this one, I don't think it's going to sell out as fast as the other models, but this is going to sell pretty well, I do think, because after all, NG are a Chinese company, uh, and they are based in China, but that was the OTT Airlines ADRJ21700, registration is Bravo123 Alpha, or B123A, it is... One to four hundred scan is forty five fifty nine for wow for like something the size of a CRJ seven hundred wow okay and that being said that does conclude this release video this is um Gemini and NG's 20, January twenty two more releases these are probably gonna be sitting releases for me I'm probably just gonna sit these ones out as I don't need anything from these releases nothing at all. Really, the Ethiopian is optional as they fly 788s, um, and you know, really nothing on this list is really catered uh, to you know to my taste. But I, I kind of am happy that um, NG compared to Gemini. Something that I'm really happy that NG does is NG. Every release, they sort of you know cater to a certain. Um, they try to cater to a certain population. This one, they sort of cater to more broader population with a Malaysian, Australian, British, African, and uh, Asian aircraft. Uh, meanwhile, the December 2020 releases uh, with, with NGs were Sunwing or Mexico, and you know all these American airlines. So I, I kind of like what NG does. Uh, but meanwhile, with Gemini, they don't. Um, do this, they just release one aircraft for one audience, other for another, and I don't really like that, but, uh, yeah, that's just my opinion. That being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my videos, and comment down below what you guys are getting from Gemini's 2021, uh, Gemini's, and 
sorry, Gemini and NG Models' 2020, uh, January 2021 releases. But yeah, once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.